Alrighty, uh, so let's get started um, by saying your full name and what you do at Montevallo. Okay, so my name is Cameron Brown. Um, I'm pretty involved on campus. I'm a Maven, an RA in housing, and um, I'm also involved in the honors program as well as my Greek organization. Awesome, so um, I'm gonna hone in on you being an RA. Uh, before the pandemic, uh, what uh, was your job like as an RA at Montevallo? So before the pandemic, I was an RA in Tutwiler Hall, which is an all women's residence hall. Um, it was pretty, uh, my job was pretty low key. It was all about being involved with um, the residents and kind of having community building events and just being there in case something went wrong. Mm -hmm. So what changed about your job as an RA after the pandemic? I think the biggest change we've had is just like the different rules that we have to um, make sure that we're following. We have to um, enforce the mask rules, which ha the university has put um, in place, as well as visitation rules that are a little bit different and more strict than they were previously. Okay, uh, so could you elaborate on more of those rules? Like, uh, you know, about people going into the dorms and stuff like that. So right now we're actually having no visitation from building to building. Um, so that's kind of the biggest rule change. Um, so the only visitation you're allowed to have is people that live already in your building. So for example, if you and your roommate had a friend that lived on a different floor or something like that, you could have them in your um, room. And then with that rule, there's a maximum capacity for each room. Um, so in some buildings or most buildings, it's four people to a room total. Um, in my building, which is New Res, we have eight people to a room because our rooms are a lot bigger. Okay. Um... So since there's not a lot of, you know, activity coming in and out of the dorms, uh, what have what has been like the atmosphere for the dorm hall? Overall, I feel like our residence halls have been pretty positive. Um, honestly, surprising to me. I've been worried about, you know, making sure that it's a comfortable and safe environment for everyone. And I think that so far it's been going pretty smoothly. I know I can only speak on my experiences, but my building and my floor has been going really well, even though we can't have um, a lot of in-person events or anything like that. And there's not a lot of foot traffic through the building. We are trying to like make it as homey and comfortable as possible for everyone. And we're trying to do things that build that community. Um, for example, we have a um, group me message that we all kind of send chats into and things like that. Okay. Um, so, uh, what has, do you think the housing administration has done a good job so far uh, in handling the pandemic? I think given the circumstances, they've done the best they can. Um, one thing that I've learned from this pandemic is things change so quickly. Um, so I do think it's it's been a frustration of the student body and I'm sure the housing staff as well that, um, you know, rules keep changing, things keep changing. Um, but I do think that they're doing the best that they can given the circumstances and they've done a great job making sure that we are implementing stuff that keeps us here, um, which I think is important to both the student body and the university as a whole. Um, is there any changes as an RA you would like to see right now? Something that you may not agree with? Um, things of that nature. Um, I, it's not that I don't agree with it. I think right now um, it's important that we have the visitation rules, but I would love to see the pandemic get better so that we can um, kind of lessen those rules since um, it does contribute a lot to the student body and like the general like atmosphere. Um, so I would love to be able to have like our residents have visitors again. Um, and I think lastly, what, uh, what good do you think came from all of this as an RA for the dorms? Uh, I know there's a lot of bad that is associated with this pandemic, but what are the good things you think will now happen since the pandemic or we have learned from the pandemic, honestly? I think, um, at least for me, I think I've learned a lot of like life skills that I probably wouldn't have had to utilize this early in my life had we not had the pandemic. Um, things like adaptability and, you know, um, resiliency and things like that. I also think that we as like a student body, um, will appreciate the moments we have together a lot more. I know I'm graduating a year early. And so having not only graduating a year early and having a year of my life 
or more taken up by this pandemic um, has been very hard, but it makes me appreciate all of the moments I've had on campus and like with my friends. So I think that's one thing like I'm taking a lot less for granted now. Is there anything else you would like to add, Cameron? No, thank you for your time. <laughs> thank you so much and you have a good day. You too.